Hey, we've been talking about that rain potential this week, and it's not just this week, but next week as well. The whole month is starting to trend above normal in terms of precipitation. On average, January is the third driest month with picking up over two and a half inches of rain. But right now it looks like it's trending higher than that. Temperatures, however, trending near normal. And this is very typical for an El Nino year. On average, high temperatures range at about 56.5 degrees. This is normally the coldest month of the year, but again, like I mentioned, those are looking like they are trending near normal. Now, currently we do have an El Nino in place. We've talked about the El Nino advisory that's in place, and what that means for us is that we are expecting El Nino conditions to continue at least through the rest of winter, and currently we are in a strong El Nino that will last through the end of winter. Generally, this means it's going to bring cooler and wetter wetter weather, but not necessarily always more snow. We've been talking about rain here the next couple of weeks. So during a non El Nino year, we're generally dry, which is why we're generally one of the driest months of the year. But during an El Nino year, we have this jet stream that moves to the south, and that means that a lot of these storms are then allowed to track right over North Texas. So it's no surprise here that we have more than a couple of chances of rain here in the next couple of weeks. And of course, Greg will have that forecast for you in just a bit, Kara. Okay, thanks.